Hi, my name is Ubaldo Reyes. We are in the radiotherapy area of the Centro Estatal de Cancerología Durango in Mexico. In this video, we are going to show you how to elaborate an end-to-end -end test in the tomotherapy lineup. Before beginning with the demonstrations, we'll provide you the definition, the process involved, and the materials that are used in this practice. End-to-end -end testing is an important practice for evaluating the entire treatment process from simulation through treatment delivery. The test is used to measure the overall accuracy of the radiation therapy chain, excluding the patient-specific factors. The processes of this test is basically what's done with the patient. Simulation, contouring of organs at risk, a planned treatment is given, an image registration is done, and then the delivery treatment is determined. Materials. The Tomo Phantom, which is basically our patient where the ionization chamber is located, and it consists of various inserts for different HU, or house field units. We are going to use an ionization chamber, A1SL, with its respective electrometer. We have a tomograph simulator. And finally, our tomotherapy equipment. Simulation. We are in the simulation area. I'm going to start with the first process, simulation. We are going to use the tomograph, tomo phantom, which is our patient, and the ionization chamber. The first thing we are going to do is align our patient. Ready. We have our patient aligned. And what we are going to do is place our ionization chamber, A1SL, in the opening that we have here. Have in mind that we have various inserts with different HU. We are now in the tomograph control center. We'll add our patient, register last name, Tomo Phantom and we'll place the radiotherapy protocol we use for all of our patients where the milliampere is already defined as well as our kilovolts that'll be used and we engage it now finished scanning we reconstruct everything is fine we check the chamber Here's our ionization chamber. Planning system. We are in the planning station. Now we are going to do is download our patient. For this, we open the planning software. The first thing we'll do is contra structure of organs at risk. Two structures are marked. The first thing we'll do is locate our laser system. With our conventional patient, we would place it where the three marks are located. In this case, it will be in the middle. We're going to use the conventional, which is the helicoidal, IMRT. The field width will stay in five centimeters. Jaws stay dynamic and the pitch we'll leave it at 0 0.430. And what we'll locate here is our curve calibration of our tomograph. We'll head to the optimization part. We place the calculation grid as fine, and we indicate the system to begin calculating. In this case, since it's a basic plan with 33 iterations, we can see good results in our DVH. We see a good gradient and almost perfect coverage. To finish off our planeation process, we'll analyze three things. The first is to check the dose the ionization chamber will use. 
If you realize here, it indicates 50.35 grays in 25 sessions. So overall, the dose we'll utilize is 2.014 grays per session. What we'll check is the width dimension of our Toma Phantom. For that, we use the terminal strip. And we measure the diameter. Our diameter indicates 30.06 centimeters and 18 centimeters widthwise. Our system is working correctly. We are going to verify the HU. For example, this one shows 1.822. We look over here, 1.82. We are verifying that it corresponds with the HU or house field units and density. Now we are in the operating station of tomotherapy. We are going to review the last two processes, IMAS registration and delivery treatment. Lo que vamos a hacer es abrir nuestro paciente. Aquí está, aquí está el plan. Le decimos OK. En esta ocasión vamos a escanear donde se encuentra nuestro PTB. Vamos a decir un tamaño de cortes de 3 milímetros. Seleccionamos. Aceptamos. Preparamos el scan. Y vamos allá adentro a alinear nuestro paciente. Ya tenemos alineado a nuestro paciente en la mesa de tratamiento. Vamos a disparar la imagen de mega montaje. Y apareció aquí la, la reconstrucción. Es un scan que va a durar 91 segundos. Es bastante rápido. Fijen aquí ya se ven los insertos con diferentes unidades Confi. Aquí está nuestro PTB. Y no les cae. Tiramos ya de. Detenemos la lectura de la cámara de ionización. Y ahora sí vamos a hacer el registro de imagen. Vamos a evaluar y hacer correcciones de posicionamiento. Vamos a tratar de dejarla lo más perfecto posible. Que se ve bastante bien alineada la, la cámara con la imagen de megavoltaje y con la imagen de kilovoltaje. Revisamos nuevamente los tres cortes. Aquí está nuestra cámara. Aquí está nuestra cámara. Aceptamos estos ajustes vamos a disparar nuestro plan de tratamiento aquí está el número de sesiones que ya se habían programado vamos a decirle al equipo que haga los ajustes podemos ver ahorita como la mesa se va a ajustar ahí están los desplazamientos ready y yes vamos a encender nuestro electrómetro que empiece perdón, si sí, verdad que empiece la lectura y nosotros vamos a disparar el tratamiento listo terminó detenemos nuestro electrómetro giramos llave y vamos a, adentro a la sala a medir presión y temperatura vemos la lectura que nos arrojó el electrómetro de menos 2.77 nanocoulombs Finally, we'll calculate the final dose. For that, we'll be guided by the protocol TG148, where we use the different factors that influence on converting the load to dose. On the table, we see all the values. We make the calculation, 
and we get a dose of 2.016 grays. If we compare it with the planned dose, which was 2.014 grays, we have a difference of 0.1%. From my point of view, the end-to-end -end test is very important because it allows you to review the dose that the thermotherapy lineup is delivering in a real treatment. I hope this video is useful and well, see you in the next one.